we will study in this video the applications of thermal expansion in solids the application that are related to real life in all the applications you will see that we have mostly use metals because metals due to their strength are widely used in the construction of many devices and structures seasonal variation in temperature that means the variation in the temperature that causes in summer change in season that is in summer or winter this causes the size of the metals to change therefore special care is taken in designing them so let us see one by one what are the applications the first application of thermal expansion is related to the manner railway tracks are laid now in this uh, in these two figures you have seen the distorted uh, structure of the railway tracks so what happens children railway tracks are made up of steel which expands in summer and contracts in winters hence a small gap is left between two successive rails to make room for expansion in summer as well as contraction in winters if we leave no space they will bend outward and this can derail a train so that is the first application the second figure or the second application is about the cemented floors or roads you must have observed that a cemented floor or concrete roads are not laid in one block instead they are laid in small blocks leaving very small space in between them as shown here so this small space allows expansion in summer otherwise in the second figure here you can observe that there it develops cracks so this is another application related to real life let us move on to the third application horse carts or bullock carts have wooden wheels these wheels are fitted with metal rims to provide support and longevity to the cart on the rough surfaces the metal rims are slightly smaller in diameter than the wooden wheel so it is heated up to a temperature so that it expands and fly over the wheel as shown in this figure after fitting cold water is poured on it to allow it to contract and grip the wheel tightly so that's an interesting example related to thermal expansion in solids and these bullock carts or horse carts are used uh, by people from many years this diagram or this figure shows you telephone and electric wires so what do you see here the telephone or electric wires become loose and sag in summer and in winters they get tightened therefore they are always kept a little loose between utility poles to prevent them from snapping in winter sometimes as you can see in the figure we do provide a connection between two different wires so that even if when they sag they don't come in contact and how do we connect them by using a small uh, wooden uh, stick sometimes next is a diagram showing loops that are provided in metal pipelines in factories long metal pipes are used for transporting oil hot water or steam loops are provided in the metal pipelines to absorb the effect of expansion 
or contraction of the pipeline due to the change in temperature. If no loops are provided, strains would develop in the pipeline and damage it. So this is another or the fifth example, real life example that is based on thermal expansion in solids. Now what is this figure all about? This figure is of an iron bridge and what do you, uh, what will you see that the end bars are not firmly built into pillars of bricks on which they rest but they are supported on rollers. as shown here in all these diagrams in all these figures so why this is so because it allows them to expand or contract during summer or winter without affecting the pillar and now comes the last application of thermal expansion in solid this diagram or this picture shows a tumbler which is cracked so why this has happened generally when you pour boiling water in a thick walled glass tumbler the inner side of the tumbler becomes hotter than the outer side since glass being relatively poor conductor of heat it does not conduct heat easily and the inner layer of glass expands more than the outer layers this difference in the amount of expansion builds up strain and the, the glass ultimately cracks. So I hope you must have understood that how thermal expansion is sometimes useful or helpful to us but it has disadvantages also.